creating IVR, interactive voice response, or auto attendant, or you can say as a welcome greeting. This is one of the basic feature of a PBX that you want to have a welcome greeting when somebody calls on your main reception numbers or a pilot numbers. So you display or you display a, a nice greeting and then you guide the caller to reach to the specific department or an extensions. This is something, for example, whenever somebody calls you, play welcome to company ABC to speak to the sales, press one. For support, press two. Or to speak to the operator, press zero. And something like this, or even you can have um, language options for English, press one, and for Spanish, then you can play even in the Spanish, and then so and so on. So this is something, the feature, very useful. Mostly businesses do require this, to have this on their phone system so that the caller feel, you know, comfortable whenever they call. They can, you know, help them to reach to their desired extensions or to the desired department. So we'll show you how you can configure the IVR in this video. So let's begin. So as usual, we are on the PBX tab. Now we have one more feature called an IVR, which is right away here. So let me click on that. And I'm going to add the IVR into this PBX, Elastics PBX. So let me click on Add New. Then what I'll do, I'll say my main IVR. So this is the main IVR, the name of the IVR and descriptions, whatever you like. Uh, this is the main IVR. Okay, that's it. And then uh, whatever audio prompt you have uploaded to your system, they are available here. So you can choose whatever you like. I mean, if you have the main menu prompt you uploaded earlier, I have shown you how you can upload the system recording. So then you can choose. Let me choose this one, customer service. This is the features whenever somebody is, you know, this is something like, you know, direct dial. So if they want to reach to direct to the extensions, let's say some of your friends dials into this main numbers and they probably know your extension so they can direct while the IVR or the greeting message plays. Meanwhile, they can dial an extension directly if they know that extensions, your direct extension, so they can reach you. So we can just enable that if you want. Otherwise, if you don't need to just disable it if you don't want to have a direct dial timeout so timeout on the IVR because if somebody do not press any key while IVR is expecting to to receive some keys so this is something in the invalid retries the numbers of tries that uh, you know the people try to make if they enter the incorrect value for example on your menu you have three options press one for sales press two for support and zero for the operators so let's say if they press five, then what will happen? So the system will play the invalid message or invalid destinations, you know, where you have the invalid destinations and you can choose any of one of them, but it's up to you. Timeout retry. This is something whenever people, somebody calls in and they're not pressing any keys. So how many attempts he will have, you know, the system will repeat the message. So here is the main things. Now what we do, let's say, if somebody press one, we will say that the call should go to the directors. One zero zero one can be anything. So then, when somebody on our IVRs, let me do it again, something professional. So if somebody press one, we'll say that is our sales team. You can choose the ring group. So both of these two phones, as you have seen earlier, a ring group example, they will ring together. So this is something from the IVRs. And then we say press two. This is something. Let's say we have a support. Let's say the we have an extensions who is providing the supports. Okay, for a moment we are just keeping this one. And then we can add one more things. That is press three for the receptions. And we have an extensions which is our accountant extension. So this guy is doing receptions and as well as an accounting part. But it's just a fake company, not real. So, but in real situations, you can put. Otherwise, your accountant will be unhappy with you. So, I have just put the the entries. Let me press submit. Okay. So, I have one more. So, they are just asking me if somebody dialed the invalid destinations. 
what it should go to. So right now, whenever somebody dies, the invalid, what happens usually you like to say that this is the invalid and then it goes back to the IVR. But what I'll do here, just temporary, I'll just put the extensions because uh, once I have an IVR and again here I'll put the extensions, just let me add and apply changes and then if there is an invalid, what I'll do, I'll select the IVR, if somebody dial the invalid key, again they will go back onto the main IVR which is this right now and it will repeat again the same options to them. Similarly, if uh, there's a timeout and they are not entering anything, then we can have the IVR again. That will, how many maximum invalid tries they can do is three. You can reduce to any number, up to 10 you can have, but three is as per standard. And similarly, the timeout entries up to three they can have. So our IVR is now ready, you can use it but uh, let's add some more features like announcement and time conditions and then we'll play this IVR 